So last time we filmed that white rice vlog where we had an assortment of kimchi, Chinese salami and also the preserved tofu. tofu. And in the vlog we said that instead of white rice next time we should do what you can have with a slice of bread. Obviously not your regular like ham and cheese or like peanut butter. Or tomato and egg. Yeah. We've chosen to go with chocolate and bread. Actually quite normal because we have chocolate spread and not various really. other hazelnut different spreads. Different texture altogether. True. When I first heard a friend say you can have chocolate, like a, a bar of chocolate or any kind of chocolate in bread, I thought, what? It's bizarre. But actually it tastes really nice. You know what? It might be similar to like a chocolate croissant. You know how chocolate croissants, they have that chocolate center and it's like thicker and richer chocolate. But it's still very pasty though. It's not quite the same. Oh, okay. I prefer it pastier. Yeah, but then it's like a paste like peanut butter or it Nutella. It molds into the bread and it's like the bread soaks up the chocolate. Enough talking. I have three chocolate squares and Sarah said she's going to try it with bueno. This bread is homemade and it's more bland because we reduce the sugar and the butter and the salt because Damon loves bread and we've decided to make healthier bread. So we'll save this piece for the bueno and this piece for the Godiva. Hmm. <laughs> okay, you go with the Godiva first. We've got to both try it though. You can, can you put two pieces of chocolate? You can have the, the milk chocolate on like the dark stuff. How do you know I don't like dark chocolate? You just ate the whole piece. You didn't even eat half the dark chocolate and save half for me. Mm. I'm not sure chocolate in bread should substitute dinner. Maybe tea or some kind of snack during the day. With coffee yeah. or like a cup of tea. Or a glass of milk. Dessert, maybe? Yeah, it's a bit too much bread. Well, to be honest, I prefer using spreads because I like how the spread's really creamy and fudgy, like... Fudgy. Yeah. No, I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, uh, yeah. So I'm going to try it with the Bueno because the Bueno has a soft center and then it's got like the wafer so yeah. there's more texture. I'm going to try the Bueno now because I know if I let Jason try, he's going to like scoff this down in like two seconds. So I'm going to have the first bite. Oh. Listen to that crunch. This is good. <laughs> Seriously, you may think Godiva have better quality chocolates, but this in bread is amazing. The dog's bollocks. <laughs> no, you've just warm my appetite. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> That's what you say. It's good stuff. The dog's I've bollocks. I've never tasted dog's bollocks before. I don't know about you. It's gone and complicated, the very simple combination of chocolate and bread. There's still chocolate and bread. Ah, I have to start and eat that by myself. So the second recommendation is Sarah's. I think it's mental. The, what's this called? Pork floss. In bread. It's like dry bread. If you imagine it's toasted, it's even worse. It's like pork floss is like sawdust in bread. But uh, she's gonna stick something a little moist in there to make it better. But the combination is, for me, nuts. Completely unheard of. Apparently he's never tried never. it. Never. I know so many people that like to eat their sandwiches like this, especially like back when I was a teenager. It's like the best. So basically, it's very simple. Pork floss and peanut butter. Mm, lots of peanut butter and pork floss. Lots. <laughs> well, a thick layer, not just like a stingy thin layer, like a thick layer. That's a very stupid question. <laughs> if you put the pork floss on first, how are you going to spread peanut butter on top of the pork floss? I mean, you need some skills there. Unless you have two pieces of bread, but... <laughs> okay, let's do it. He has the honours because he's never tried it before. 
don't eat the whole thing. It's really good. It's like a little bit savoury and sweet at the same time. It's not that dry. It's a bit crisp and crunchy in the middle. And with the sweetness of the peanut butter. It's actually very nice. It tastes better if you have like a thinner piece of bread. But because our bread's homemade, we've cut the bread to a certain thickness. Mm. Okay, my turn. No! <laughs> okay. See, the best bit is in the center of the bread. Like everything, like the middle part's the yummiest. Mm. Come on. So tonight, I'm dressed in my best outfit for a date with Sarah. Thanks. At home. I'm dressed in my best home outfit for a date with my husband, who's wearing his wedding ring in case I didn't know he's married. And my favourite Nautilus. <laughs> but we're eating bread. Just two pieces of plain bread, preserved tofu and kimchi. Oh yeah, these guys were the guys that started off the story. So last time we did the white rice story with, I can't remember what actually, Chinese salami. Kimchi and tofu. Was that it? Yeah. It wasn't that interesting after all. Nonetheless, we have the smelly tofu with the kimchi. On rice, on bread. I'm not a huge fan of preserved tofu. Like I don't like eating it in a block like this. So I don't mind it when it's cooked with my food or vegetable. So you can go ahead with that and I'm tell me how amazing it is. But that's right in the middle though. No, it's not, it's half. With a chopstick, it's not easy. I wanna spread it out evenly. It is very similar to blue cheese that's stinky and looks horrible. It tastes delicious though. It's a bit spicy too, right? A little bit. It has this weird preserved tofu twang to it. A very nice twang. You gotta try it to know what he means. So go and get a jar of preserved tofu and try it out. Okay, time to try the kimchi. Kimchi tastes nice with anything. The bread's really fresh today, because oh, yeah. it's newly baked. Kimchi and the tofu are delicious, but the bread is just straight out of the oven, so mm. that makes it even more tasty. I can't wait to take a bite. <laughs> Not enough kimchi. Oh, what? Let me help you. It's like Korean coleslaw. Kind of. We're missing the fried chicken. Mmm, it tastes good with fried chicken. Fried chicken kimchi sandal. What's a sandal? Sandal. Sandwich. Not, Not like on a, a pair of sandals, no. <laughs> no, that would be horrible. Yeah. Here you can have the crust. That's lovely. Ah, don't finish it off. So there we have it. What can you have with bread? Delicious. <laughs>